Hello, friends. I'm Spider-Man. Catch the money. I just took it from the bandits. Hey, Spider-Man. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, Spider-Man, watch out. Oh, uh, now. Ouch. That's for taking our money. Oh, no, Spider-Man, no. You okay, Spider-Man? Wait a minute, though. What's that fallout? Hey, Spider-Man, you okay? You all right? Answer me, please. It wasn't very polite of them. You guys okay? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, you can have uh, my brush, and I'll just lie here and rest for a while, shall I? Thank you so much, Spider-Man. We'll be sure to get it back to you. Yep, yep, yep. Let's hurry home, Mikey, and see what this magic brush Spider-Man gave us. Uh-huh. What should we draw? What do you think, Mikey? What about it, JJ? Star Wars? Great idea. But I'd start with something simpler, something I see every day. How about a villager in that case? We see them often enough. Ha-ha! <laughs> Not bad, Mikey, but I'm getting tired of these nosy guys. You might as well paint bandits. Don't even remind me. I don't want to hear about them. Oh, landscapes. No, boring. Okay, I think I know exactly what you're going to love. Draw me, please. I will, and I'll even do it for free, so you can have all that money. Wow! Thank you, JJ. You're welcome. I'll make the drawing as detailed as possible. I'm a professional artist, JJ. I'll start with the contours. Here we'll have a green head, and I think that's it. Hey! <laughs> it's just a joke. No, of course, our portrait will have a torso, arms, and legs without them. Otherwise, how will we escape from the harmful bandits? Great, we'll paint over everything. We'll paint him some cool underpants, but how can I say underpants? More like overpants and a huge S. Not what you're thinking of, but a super sign, because Mikey is a super turtle. Huh. What is it that the residents are discussing? Hopefully not about what a great artist I am. I don't like it when someone comments on my work before I finish it. Great, almost, and yes, super. Hey, Mikey, I'm done. You can marvel and praise me already. I think it turned out just fine. Why don't you say something, Mikey? Are you really that enamored with my incredible drawing? Whoa. Okay, apparently I was wrong. It's time for me to be surprised. What's wrong, JJ? What? Why can I fly? Whoa. Because you're Superman now. Whoa. I can't believe it. Is it all thanks to the magic brush? Thank you, Spider-Man. Although I now, of course, doubt that Spider-Man was real, but we promised him we'd give him the brush anyway. So paint me some superheroes. I want to be super cool, too. Yeah, sure, JJ, but do I know what superpowers you need most? I doubt I'll be able to come up with something for you myself. Okay, I will definitely think of something. Now we will try to draw something else on you, but then we will definitely break me some superhero costume too. I want to be a superhero too. Okay, I'm about to be like an alien in the fields, drawing one circle. And then you have to draw another circle, then a circle, then a circle, then another circle. I think it looks like a saucer. Ha <laughs> ha! In that case, guess what I'm drawing? If I'm an alien, then I'm drawing a flying saucer, and if I'm an artist, then Mikey with this saucer should definitely turn into a waiter right now. Oh, one more word, saucer, and I'm definitely going to go hungry. What else is there to add? Right, the star in the middle. Yeah, without a star on such an important element of the superhero costume, but what kind of costume? Let Mikey try to guess, and yes. All right, how's that, Mikey? What is that, Captain America's shield? Yeah, that's it. Well done, Mikey. <gasps> and you're a really cool artist. Thank you. Can you throw it to me? I want to test it out. You read my mind. Check it out, everybody. You're looking at the real Captain JJ himself. Okay, let's see just how awesome this shield is. Mikey, you got it? I'm throwing it to you. Oh, I didn't catch it again. Let's try again. All right, let's do it again. I don't mind. It's fun. Why don't you check out what this shield can do without me while I try to draw something else? I have so many ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can draw superheroes. Now I can try and supervillains. But who would be so evil but still interesting to draw? Oh, I got it. Let this someone will be all purple. He will not even be so much evil, but just crazy, funny, but also very dangerous. Let himself always dressed in a business suit, but his main enemy will be a man in a bat suit. Hmm. Oh, and he's a lot harder to draw than anyone else, but that shouldn't be a problem for an incredible artist like JJ. Then I'll do my best to paint him in as much detail as possible. Great, the tie turned out awesome. What else? That's right, pants. People can't go around without pants. Mikey doesn't count. He's not a person, he's a turtle. 
Ha-ha! <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. It's me. Oh, it's not pants. It's a head. I'm sure there's something wrong. No matter, the head also turned out cool. The main thing is not to forget about the legs and pants on them. Otherwise, my supervillain will only sit on a chair and grumble about who is so bad forgot to draw him legs. The face turned out super too. The rest is left. I think everyone has already guessed who I got. Huh. You draw too slow, JJ. Hurry up, I'm interested to see what you do. Take your time, Mikey. Otherwise, I won't succeed. By the way, did you know that many famous artists could paint their masterpieces for years, checking every little detail, watching how their painting develops, how it gets better with every stroke, and if something went wrong, they could start redoing everything from scratch. And blah, blah, blah. Thank you, JJ. That's very interesting, but stop making excuses. You're just wasting time. Really? I thought I was done. Oh, no. Ah! Ouch. Oh, no. The Joker turned out to be not as funny as I drew him. Okay, not funny, but why isn't there just one Joker? Why do we need a whole bunch of Jokers? I don't know. Maybe it's because it took me so long to draw it. Never draw for so long again, super artist. I'm super, of course, but there are simply more of them. It's unpleasant. Okay, okay. Give me a shield so I can help you more easily, Super Mikey. Great. We've completed this challenge. Now we need to draw something else. I just have one question. Why did you remember that you can fly only after the fight with the Jokers was already over? I'm sure it would have been much easier for you to deal with all those villains if you had taken off right away. Oops! Oh, Mikey, as always, is in his repertoire. One day I'll just draw him in a Hulk costume, let his main superpower be walking and screaming Hulk. Wow! The idea is just super. We will definitely do this next time. Oh, great. Thanks, Mikey, for dropping me off on the roof. It's much better than walking up those endless steps. Be thankful that I haven't forgotten how to fly. Otherwise, we would have had to walk on them. <laughs> it's okay. You would have had to carry me anyway. Okay, but what are you going to draw this time? It's a secret. Please don't peek. I want to surprise you again. Mm -hmm. I've defeated so many Jokers today, I just have to become Batman. Huh. What? You want to become a bat? But they are tiny, blind, and hide in dark caves. Yes, exactly like that. So that you can fly up and hide in your cave from such an all-seeing and all-hearing Mikey. Hey, don't call me your smart words. Okay, so my head is in place. All that's left is to draw an incredibly cool costume, as similar as possible, so that even from afar, it would be clear that JJ is a superhero today. And an unusual one, with a rather dark, but at the same time, incredibly interesting story. Hmm. By the way, an interesting fact about Batman, although everyone thinks that his main superpower was money, like Mikey and I did when we started our own business. In fact, Batman's main superpower is his incredible mind. His IQ is higher than that of the great scientist Einstein, and in the comics, by and large, he was engaged in solving crimes, not fighting villains. And although these villains were so bad, Batman usually just sent them to jail or to treatment. I like Batman because he was actually a kind guy, despite his stern appearance. Wow! You know so much, JJ. I can't tell you so much about Superman. Don't worry about it, Mikey. I'm sure you have plenty to say about other things like... Like the Egyptian pyramids! Pyramids? Seriously? Yes, because they are so big and huge. Hmm. Okay. What do you think, Mikey? Am I a superhero? Whoa! JJ, this is really cool. You are a real Batman. How did you do this? Is it all because you draw so slowly and boringly? I don't think so, but I'm glad you appreciated it. Look, I even have real batarangs. It's cool, but not that you throw them at me, but that you have them. Ha <laughs> ha! Let the most superhero battle in the world begin. Hey, Mikey, show me the power of Superman. No, I'm afraid to crush you like a bug. Hey, who are you calling a bug, Mr. Super Mikey? Come here and say it to my face. Leave me alone. Mr. Super Mikey isn't supposed to fight his friends. Okay, fine. I get it. I think Superman and Batman were friends too. So we better go and show our power to some supervillain instead of each other. What do you say? I totally agree with you, JJ. But how are we going to find supervillains in such a big city? We don't have a huge lamp that would light up in the sky when trouble happens. Hmm. Everything is simpler than you think. We will simply ask where the trouble is happening from the one who knows everything about the troubles in the city. And who is it? These are the police. Yep, yep, yep. Great idea, JJ. Superhero landing. Oh. It was a bit crazy. Thanks, I know. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Hello, Mr. Policeman. What is the whole Thanos doing behind your back? 
Yes, what? Hello, Mr. Badger. Hello, Mr. Super Mikey. If we knew what it was, we wouldn't know what it was. Say no more. We will solve your problem now. Bye-bye, evil aliens. There are new heroes in this city. And the last one is defeated. How is Mikey? He flew right into the crowd. I hope he can handle it. Everything is fine. These aliens turned out to be much weaker than I thought. They definitely won't do anything to me while I have the powers of a Superman. But what are we going to do against this huge eggplant? Let's just cook it. Great plan, bro. Let's give them a thrashing. Take that, stupid aliens. You'll get into trouble with us. Great. Now we'll show you who's boss. Hey, Thanos, we're here. Can you see us? Or does your gigantic chin prevent you from looking just below your nose? <laughs> yeah. That was great, Mikey. Thank you. What will you do to me? You are just bugs on my way. On my way to balance in the universe. And blah, blah, blah. I've heard this somewhere before. I see. You won't leave me alone so easily. Yeah, Mikey. Give that eggplant a good beating, let him get lost while he's still in one piece, or we'll definitely put him in jail. Hi oh, Mikey, you're awesome. Yes, I know. How weak you are, Thanos. If you didn't know, this isn't even a boss fight. It's just our morning training. We could have dealt with you even without superpowers. Speaking of superpowers, Mikey, is it just me, or are you not using the Superman suit to its full potential? Okay, JJ, I think I got you. You're about to get too hot, Mr. Mad Titan. Whoa! Oh, what are those lasers coming out of the eyes? Wow, you're awesome, Mikey. This is definitely the coolest thing I've seen today. Did we really defeat him? How tired he is. He didn't want to give up for too long. How do you plan to celebrate such a grand victory? Yes, it's a great idea to celebrate. But first, we need to put out the fire. After all, we were only planning to cook an eggplant and not fry the whole city. Whoa, that's so noble of you, Mikey. I love your approach. We're putting out the fire like real firefighters. We fought, we can put it out. I think it's time to write a book about our adventures. What do you say, Mikey? Hmm? I think it's a great idea. And speaking of great ideas, look what I can do. And what have you learned so far in the shoes of Superman? Come on, show me. I'm very interested. I can't wait to discover something new. Don't drag it out. Look, I can freeze with my breath. Wow, it's like you're a living refrigerator and I'm a living snowman. Have you ever thought about working part-time as an ice cream man? <laughs> I like your offer, but right now I just want to spoil and I don't know, for example, make a snowman. What do you say? Okay, make some more snow and I'll try to put something together. Let's do it together. Whoa. <laughs> While we are making a snowman, how scared do you think the villagers in the city are? I think they must all be scared by such fierce fighting right in the center. I should at least go to them and warn them that everything is over and they can calmly go about their business because they are probably sitting under the tables and afraid that the sky will soon fall on them. And it seems to me that someone either slept through everything that happened or sat in front of the TV or played computer games, you know? Everyone thinks that their affairs are the most important, so you don't have to think about it as much as you think about it, Fat JJ. Great, Super Mikey. We're almost there with a real snow statue that won't hurt anyone here, unlike the Mad Titan, so I suggest we put a pumpkin on top and leave it to guard this place. In the meantime, I'll go to the villagers. Good luck. Thank you. How are you, villagers? Oh, you don't have to tell me. I see how scared you are about this alien invasion. I hope a free ice cream from my friend will make you much calmer. Besides, everything is settled down, we defeated everyone, and now the city is free. You can no longer hide here, but do your own thing. Let's go! Did you really defeat that fearsome purple giant? Yes! Of course! This is just wonderful news because we didn't know exactly what to do with him. Thank you. But what are you going to do? What? This is damage to city property. Although, okay. You are heroes today. You even put out the fire. It is worth it to endure one small drawing on the asphalt. Hey, JJ, are you picking up a brush again? What do you want to do this time? Oh, this time I'm thinking of making not a simple tool, but a real weapon of a real god of thunder. I think it will be cool to check if we are worthy of such an item, and if we were right enough to butt it and take it in our hands. Whoa! I think I got you. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I should definitely try it. Maybe besides being Super Mikey, I can also become Mikey the Thunder God. Or maybe Thunder God JJ will join me on my adventures. <laughs> I like your imagination. I don't understand how you can complain that you have no ideas. Let's see what we got. We must have got a new Thunder God. Or no, 
I can't seem to lift it too bad. Maybe you can, JJ. Okay, let's try it. Come on. Oh no, I can't lift it either. That's too bad. Do we really need to call someone else who can handle such a powerful object and join our team of superheroes? Oh. Where are we going to find him now? Where are we going to find him now? Hey guys, I think I know who can help you. Who is it, Mr. Policeman? I think the real God of Thunder Thor could help you. But where are we going to get him in the evening? Is it really possible that he will just come to us from the east? But wait, JJ, I think I see something, or rather someone. Huh? What are you talking about, Mikey? Really, this is truly Thor, in person. Amazing. Whoa! What are you doing here, Thor? Even if you came for Thanos, you're already too late. Ho ho, I would gladly fight Thanos. But strangely enough, I lost my hammer. And you yourselves, I see, are great. You dealt with this monster and his crazy army. You are really great. I am proud of you. You are real superheroes. Thank you, Thor. Thank you, Thor. Oh, you found my hammer too. Thank you, young heroes. Ouch!